All right, this is Calibos, and I am recording another episode of Enigmatica 2. So, I've already forgotten the stuff that I intended to accomplish. Um, so, I guess you're just going to have to live with that. Attention is not my, my strongest strength. But I do have sandwiches. Which means we have beat starvation. Go us. Um, and that was truly a pain. Uh, mostly because... Oh, crafting unit. Sweet. So we have just randomly co completed another quest. Man, we're just, like, going crazy here. Uh, that would be here. Avocado sapling. Where was that when I had to make them? Or rather, purchase them. So, let's toss this in there, and toss that in there, and... Toss that in there, because that's going to totally be necessary at some point. All right. So, um, let's see what our next goal is. I wonder if we should make some, uh, some charcoal. That's right, we were talking about applied energistics. So let's, uh, man, I've, I've got one or two pieces of uh, dark oak in here. There's uh, 10,000. That's a little bit. My, uh, it's definitely a good thing that I took my lumberjack's axe away. Did I take his axe away? Definitely need to if I haven't. We'll, uh, we'll do this. So, uh, what I'd like to do is have a full, uh, full mana pool here for various purposes. We'll see how that goes, though. Toss some wood in there. All of these can wait. Sleep Charm doesn't need to be there. there. That should be a food backpack. That should be perfectly fine. So uh, you'll notice that I now have a full bar of yellow hearts. Uh, just a moment ago, and then, uh, going through the smoothies, it, it clicked up again. It said I need about 50 foods for the next one. And that was about four smoothies ago, so it's going to be a while. But we have finished immersive engineering. Ah, right. I remember now. We need some iron and some stuff. We're going to do compact machines. All right, we need one of these. We're going to need four of these. Um, so the recipe for this, this doesn't seem like it should be obvious. I know what I'm doing, so it's kind of obvious to me. Um, so we're going to take some iron, because we're going to need a lot of iron. We need, we're going to need more than is here, actually. We're going to need a lot of iron. We have no idea. Um, right. Let's do this. So this one's going to, for example, we'll need 98. Uh, the output is a maximum compact machine. It requires um, a block of emerald in the center and em uh, blah, blah, blah. A, uh, an enderpearl. So we're going to cruise on over here. So we're going to need some emeralds. Okay, how about some iron? We'll grab some iron. Um... We also need some redstone. Uh, 
but we shouldn't need so much of the redstone. Uh, now I've prepared a little area, but I suspect that I have done it wrong. So let's grab some emeralds. Might as well grab all of them. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So iron. Gold. Yeah, we should just be able to do it with this one. I, we can make the smaller ones, but I don't see the purpose. Um, so these are used on the inside, and you can use one per facing. And basically what they do is they designate uh, an input-output um, port for items and such like that. This does the same thing for redstone signals. So, we don't need any of that. So let's come here. So I actually thought about doing all of the construction in the underworld. So, and, and I may still do that, but we're going to do compact machines. I just saw another YouTuber, Modi, messing around with them. And I have messed around with them a little bit. So, if you look at this. So, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so, for example, if this arbitrary spot is the center, give or take, I think. We'd, uh, wish that I was taller. That's, that's pretty much it, is I wish I was taller. Uh, a wrench, wrench maybe. Okay, so we're going to do this. Okay, I, I promise this won't be a disappointment. Probably won't be a disappointment. Depending on A, my ability to do this. Oh my gosh. I always forget which way to do these. Okay. There we go. Now, we can line this up if you look at this. So these are the spots that it can be. Oh man. So clearly I cannot... Uh, find the center very well. So we'll move this one over. Put it here. And now fix these. Yep, I clearly cannot count. We'll put it here. So, one of the things that makes this troublesome is the whole Underdark issue. Underdark. I'm sorry. Too much D&D, &D, not enough Minecraft. The uh, uh, Deep Dark issue. So I need to have everything lit up. And, you know, that keeps me from being eaten by the darkness. So this is what we're trying to do here. Now, we need to come up here 
Well, I suppose we can do it inside. Let's have a little light. So one of the reasons that we need this thing is we have to be able to drop stuff on top of it through the field. And it's super annoying. Okay. Since I don't have flight, it can be super annoying to, to do anything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a torch here, and we're going to put uh, set home crafting cube. Okay. Nope. Up. Set home CC. Because crafting cube is just too long to type, and I'm lazy, and life is like that. So assuming that we want to make a maximum compact machine, um, let's, I forgot something. Assuming that we want to make a maximum compact machine, I need 98 of the uh, 98 yeah 98 so we we actually we actually have more than enough um, compact cubes uh, compact machine walls to to make a set or a full I don't know why I jumped off that just ignore me to to make one so these are super cool if you've ever wanted to carry your base in your backpack you know it's the way to go so one two three four five two three Five, I think it's five. Can we run into the darkness issue? Um, one, two, three, four, five, or more. So, one of the things that is not so obvious. So remember, the recipe says that it needs a block of emerald. So if this is a 5x5 five five cube, we're basically... So wall, two, three. So, I mean, I guess technically I could have just done this. And we'll leave that there for now. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. But this won't work with the torch in it, so we have to remember to take the torch out afterwards. Um, this is not super difficult to accomplish. Um, I fully expect most people to be able to, uh, to figure this out fairly easily once they've seen it done. Documentation was a bit slim, I guess. As far as I didn't see anything really covering it, I had to uh, look it up online. So we're going to do that. Uh, 
Ah, uh, you know who didn't bring enderpearls? This guy. That's okay, I should have some enderpearls. You guys ready to see some cool magic? Boom. And that's it. That is the entirety of how to make a compact machine. Um, so if we just set it down here somewhere, whack it with the personal shrinking device. So if we look at journey map, this is its own dimension. And basically they will appear on this line um, you know, east-west, I think it's east-west, uh, every thousand blocks or so. Uh, if you want to, you can shift right click, uh, and that sets your entry point. So you can put it in the corner, you can put it in the middle, the sides, wherever, wherever makes you happy. Um, you'll see that it's fairly sizable. My preference is to like set a second level. Uh, these walls make it super convenient and easy to do so. You know, just set a second level. If you can fly, you can fly. Um, don't even have to break into Disney songs. But uh, it's a great, it's a great mod. Uh, I don't think that they're chunk loaded anymore. They used to be chunk loaded. It's at the entry point here. Uh, they used to be chunk loaded. But I don't believe that they are anymore, but you can chunk load them if you choose to. Probably for convenience to servers. Again, be kind. Don't, don't do whatever. Uh, if you just right click on pretty much any wall, it takes you out. The coolest thing about this is it maintains its contents. So we don't have to worry about like losing stuff. Um, coolest thing ever is you make a, uh, a bag, an ender pouch or something like that so that you can always recover the contents. And yeah, so let's go ahead and make some, some walls really quick so we can work you through the process. Um, so what we do is we basically set a block of iron down. Uh, if you look at this, it you know it takes this is the the ingredients list. It uses one block of iron, uh, one redstone, and it gives you 16 of the compact machine walls. But this is the ingredient that you drop on it from above. So uh, you also cannot be inside of it when you do it. So that is a thing to be wary of. Uh, flight is flight's the way to go. If you can arrange it, uh, we're going to have to go this way. And I think it has to land onto the multi-block. Because even though it's... It's just like an iron block with a piece of redstone, it's still a multi-block. Now we're just going to hop down here. And watch it, and then boom. See? Instant compact machine walls. 
Uh, we're going to do this one more time just for entertainment value. Because uh, this requires 98. And we conveniently have 98. Now I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to claim that this was completely uh, on purpose. It's simply like every single one of them that we got from that structure I found out in the world. So I don't know if that was a, a deliberate setup on their part or not. One, two, three, four, five. And it is a, a five by five hollow cube. Um, with one block of emerald dead center. Uh, by dead center, I do not mean off to the left somewhere. There we go. Um, so yeah, I I do recommend having a nice, convenient space for it because, you know, without flight, you'll still, you'll need a gantry of some sort. Um, even with flight, it's probably useful to have um, an area set up in advance because you have to have your projectors and whatnot. So again, field, boom, there you go. I didn't actually know that would work until I did it, so just be aware. Uh, you can place compact machines inside of each other, rather like Russian nesting dolls. Uh, that is not a problem, it doesn't give them any difficulties. Uh, one of the reasons, uh, they are also numbered. I think you can rename them. I'm not sure that it, it matters, essentially. Um, so it doesn't name them until the first time that you go into it. So this is the one we used before, or no, this isn't the one we used before. This is the one we used before. So we pop in here. Notice we've been carrying it around and we still have dirt. Also, randomly, there's a sprout here from roots. I do not know why. But we can just pop this here. We can go in there, set our entry point, you know, whatever we want to do. And then it just, it goes outside of it. How's that? So we can set up all of the machines we want in here. Uh, I generally make the largest size. The uh, the emeralds are are kind of pricey at that, but I mean, if we look at so that's the one we made. If we look at this one, this one requires. You know, nothing in it and an ender pearl. This one requires iron in it and an ender pearl. Gold. Uh, huh, interesting. So this one doesn't require anything, um, but it, except for the ender pearl. And then these all require, see, that's diamond. Emerald. So I might as well, you know, in, in my mind, I uh, might as well just go straight for the emerald. I mean, it's not greatly more expensive when you get when you get going. So yeah, now we have compact machines. We can set up our machinery here. So without oil, uh, I'm going to avoid diesel. Um, oh, yeah, eh, I don't know. It's not important. Uh, without oil, I'm going to avoid diesel. Uh, I may think about it if we get into oil. Um, 
but looks like we're going to have to come up with another another power source. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to pick. If you guys have any suggestions you want me to see, oops, then uh, then we'll go for that. Um, let's see what's in here. Extreme. So I've got extreme reactor, and I could just throw an extreme reactor in there. I would be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, so let's let's do a little experiment. Let's see how multi-dimensional these things are. So we'll set one of these down, and we'll take one of these. So these are all linked to one already. So if we link this to one. So perfect, multi-dimensional. So these have an, uh, a throughput of basically 5,000 RF a tick. Is it not? Uh, is it not uh, accepting power? Let's go look downstairs. So if we, if it does work, uh, so that's totally accepting power. Then we can just put a big reactor in there and move on with our lives. So, oh, I know what the deal is. Um, chunk loading. That's the problem. So since it's not chunk loading, it unloads. All right, so we'll call it here. We've got about 25, 30 minutes of, of nonsense in. Did some things. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, don't. Questions, comments, concerns can go below. Um, if you've got any, uh, any ways you think I could be improving, that would, that would be helpful. So thanks for coming. Catch you later.